ஆக்சிஜன் செல்லுக்கு எப்படி கெப்பாசிட்டி கால்குலேட் பண்ணலாம் அப்படிங்கிறத பற்றி பார்க்கலாம் நாம் இப்போ ஒரு மேனுஃபேக்சரிங் செல்லு இதுக்கு எக்ஸாம்பிளாக எடுத்துக்கலாம் இயர் டோட்டலி ஃபைவ் மிஷின்ஸ் அவைலபிள் த ஃபஸ்ட் மிஷின் இஸ் பிளாங்கிங் இந்த பிளாங்கிக்கோட மேனுவல் டைம் இஸ் எயிட் செகண்ட் மிஷின் ஆப்ரேஷன் டைம் இஸ் ஃபிஃப்டி ஃபைவ் செகண்ட்ஸ் தி செகண்ட் மிஷின் இஸ் ப்ரெஸ்ஸிங் மிஷின் The manual time is 15 second and machine time is 60 second for this machine. The next machine is drilling. For this machine, manual is 9 second. Machine operation time is 45 second. The final process is brushing. For this machine, manual operation is 12 second. Machine operation is 56 seconds. Now we can see how to calculate capacity for this manufacturing line. This is the standard format for process capacity calculation sheet. This is one of the lean format. Now we can see how to calculate capacity for this manufacturing line using this capacity sheet. First we have to write part name. We will take it as A, A, B, C, D. Next, we will write part name X, Y, Z. Next, we will write application. The application is this part where it will be used in automotive or somewhere else. For example, this part will be used in a fender, car fender. So, we will write it as a fender. Next, number of parts it means at the end of this process how many parts will be produced it means for example it will be two parts or single parts like that next we will write the line name for example we will write it as press 810 line next we have to write step name there are four steps available 1 2 3 4 the first step is blanking second pressing third drilling and fourth brushing next we can give number for each process it is depends upon the organization we can give 3 to 1 3 to 2 3 to 3 3 to 4 like that Next, we have to write manual time and the auto operation time for each process. Blanking, 8 seconds, manual time, auto seconds, 55 seconds. Next, pressing, manual time is 15 seconds, machine operation time is 60 seconds. Next, drilling manual 9 seconds, machine operation time 45 seconds. Next, brushing manual 12 seconds, machine 56 seconds. Next, we have to write completion time. Completion time means the total time for complete a part. It means manual time plus auto time equal to completion time. It is a time to complete a part. The completion time for blanking is 63, for pressing 75, for drilling it is 54, for brushing it is 68. Next we have to write tool change time the tool change time means for some process it is necessary to change a tool in some frequency for example for blanking we need to change the blanking die in some frequency to get quality of blanking it is necessary 
we need to maintain the quality of wall that is required to change in the frequency so that is called a tool change time here two thing is available one is change and time the change means what is the frequency to change and the time means how long it will take to change the frequency means for example blanking i need to change the blanking die for every 600 parts that is the frequency that is the change the time means for changing the blanking die i need 10 minutes that is called the time for blanking we can take 6000 pieces once we need to change blanking die it will take only 30 minutes the same way we need to find out tool change time for all three process it is depends upon the process all the time we need to put in seconds only as we are calculating all the time in seconds now we can see how to calculate capacity there is a formula for capacity calculation capacity equals available time per shift or, or day divided by time to complete a part plus tool change time per part now we can calculate available time the available time is i take 7.5 hours and converting into seconds it is after directing lunch break and tea break etc when i am calculating this coming around 27000 seconds per per shift next time to complete a part already we calculated time to complete a part next we need to calculate tool change time per part the formula for tool change time per part equal to tool change time divided by frequency frequency to change for blanking process we can calculate tool change time per part for blanking process change frequency is 6000 parts once the change time required 1800 seconds when we calculate for blanking process it is coming around 0.3 seconds per part the capacity of blanking process equal to available time is 27000 seconds divided by time to complete a part is 63 seconds plus tool changing time per part is 0.3 seconds when we calculate this we are getting 426.5 pieces per shift now we can take the capacity of blanking process 426 pieces per shift because 0.5 pieces we cannot uh, produce the same way we need to calculate capacity for all other process the same way if we calculate the capacity for all other process pressing capacity will come about 358 pieces per shift drilling process 494 pieces per shift brushing process 396 pieces per shift here I return 358 for brushing process in red color. Why? Because it is the lowest production among this line. So this is called as a bottleneck process. So capacity of this 
manufacturing line we need to fix as 358 pieces per shift okay almost uh, end of this video this is the correct method for calculating the capacity of manufacturing line thanks for watching the video if you like this video please like and subscribe only your subscription is not enough please tell your friends to subscribe this channel to make more videos thank you thank you for watching this video